In Google Analytics 4, we have audiences, comparisons, and segments. But what are the differences between them? When should you use audiences? What about segments? In this video, I will answer all of that. Hey, my name is Julius and welcome to Analytics Mania YouTube channel, where you can learn Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. And if you want to stay up to date with GA4, consider subscribing. And now let's take a look at those differences between comparisons, segments, and audiences. Let's start with a quick reminder, where can you find each feature? Comparisons can be found right here and you can use them in every standard report. So here is the section reports and in every report right here, you can use comparisons. Then speaking of segments, segments can be found and used in the explore section right here. And you can include them here and use them in the report right here. Last but not least, audiences, you can find them in the configure section, then go to audiences, and you'll find a list of all audiences that you currently have configured. If you haven't worked before with these features, I have tutorial for each one of them, and you will find the links below the video. So now let's take a look at the differences between these three features. Speaking of explorations, segments can be used only in them. If you want to include segments, for example, in comparisons, unfortunately, you cannot do that. Unless, of course, you convert a segment into an audience and then use audience in comparisons. To convert segment into an audience, first you would need to go to a certain exploration, then click three dots on your segment and then edit. Then you should click build an audience and then click save and publish or save and apply. Then when you turn that segment into an audience, you can include it in a comparison. You can click on add comparison in any standard report and then click include or exclude depending on what you want to do and then select audience name and select the audience that you want to include. However, keep in mind that audiences are not retroactive. So it means that only from the moment when you created that audience, you will be able to use that in analysis because the data will start coming into the audience only from the moment when you create the audience. As of the moment of recording this video, audiences cannot be used in explorations, at least based on my experiments. Because if I go to segments, click plus, then let's say events segment or user segment or whatever. If I enter a condition right here, which is audiences, you will see that there are no audiences available right here. And speaking of explorations, comparisons cannot be used directly in explorations, but you can turn them into segments. Here I am in one of the standard reports of Google Analytics 4. Here I can click edit comparisons. And then let's say that I will include traffic coming from the United States. Then I click apply and a new comparison will be added right here. Then if I go to any report that is standard, but that is not report snapshot or real time. So let's say that I will go to event report and then click on edit comparisons again. Here I will see a button explore. If I click it, those two comparisons, which were all users and my another comparison, which was country includes United States, they are now turned into segments. By the way, keep in mind that Google Analytics 4 is still under heavy development and it changes constantly. So if you see some discrepancies between my video and what you have in your interface, keep looking. Or maybe you could check the description of the video because maybe I have added some additional resources that address those changes. Or maybe you can post a comment or check. Maybe I have already replied to certain comments that are asking about updates. Then let's talk about standard reports. So segments cannot be used in standard reports. They are only available in explorations. Audiences can be used in standard reports if you use them in comparisons. Or in other words, if you click on add comparison and then include a dimension audience name, you can add that audience right here. And obviously comparisons are used primarily in standard reports. Now let's talk about Google Ads. Segments cannot be used in Google Ads. So if you want to import a segment into Google Ads, you would have to convert it and create an audience as well. And I have already explained how to do that previously in the video. You basically just click three dots next to a certain segment, then edit, and then build an audience. And audiences can be most definitely used in Google Ads as remarketing lists. And if you want to learn more about how to do that, I have a tutorial on audiences and you will find the link to it below the video. When it comes to comparisons, you cannot use them as remarketing lists in Google Ads. When you create a segment in the exploration report, it is retroactive. So it means that, for example, if you have been collecting 
click events for the last two months and you create a segment where at least one click was made, then you will be able to use the data of those several months in your reports. Audiences are not retroactive. Audiences start collecting data only after you create them. And based on what I have seen, it applies not only to Google Ads remarketing lists, but also to comparisons. What I mean is that if you use audience in comparisons, they still need to collect some data. For example, here I am comparing all users against users who had at least one session with two or more page views. And I created that audience on March 2nd, or maybe on March 1st, I actually don't remember that. But as you can see, before that, I had no data from that audience. And then after I created, it started populating some data. And finally, when it comes to comparisons, they are retroactive. However, I have left an asterisk because if you're using an audience in comparisons, then that part is not retroactive. And the final thing that I wanted to compare is the creation process. If you want to create a comparison, you have to do that in any standard reports of Google Analytics 4. When it comes to segments, you can click explore button in the comparison and then an exploration report will be created and those comparisons will be turned into segments or you can create a segment directly in the exploration. I am talking about clicking this button or going to the exploration and clicking this plus icon next to segments right here. And finally, speaking of audiences, you can create them by creating a segment and then having a checkbox built audience enabled. I'm talking about this checkbox right here, or you can create them by going to configure and then audiences section on the left sidebar of Google Analytics interface. And I mean this part, configure audiences. And these were the differences between comparisons, segments, and audiences in Google Analytics 4. If you want to learn more about each feature, I will post some links below the video. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video because it helps me continue working on this channel. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.